All right, so we now that we have Windows installed, we are set up with our username and password, and we're inside the machine. What I'm going to show you now is how to uh, set up the ability to RDP into this machine. The first thing you want to do is click the Start button, open up Control Panel. Within the Control Panel, you can go to System Security and then click Allow Remote Access. From here, you're going to want to click Allow Remote Connections to this computer, then click OK. Hit Apply, and you're good to go. Uh, you can come in here and you can change the computer name if you want. We'll do that in a later video when we turn this machine into a domain controller. The next part I would do is I would set up a static IP address to this server. For clients, you tend to do uh, DHCP or reservations. For servers, you tend to do static IP addresses. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and go back to Control Panel, hit Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, and then click on Ethernet 0. From there, we'll click on Properties, the Internet Protocol version 4. You can double click it, or you can go down here and hit Properties. I just double click. And then we can uh, type in the IP address that we want. We'll do 10.10.1.40. Uh, the subnet mask was 255.255.255. And this is this your assets. Uh, um, so if you have like a slash point for IP address, you're going to have a subnet mask of 255.255.255. If you have a subnet mask of 8 or uh, an, uh, a slash 8, you're going to have a subnet mask of 255000. That's all that is. And then the default gateway, we're going to do the router. And same thing for the DNS server. Later on, we'll do uh, probably loop back with instance 127001. And that will be uh, because this will eventually become a DNS server uh, when it becomes a domain controller. So now at that point, we're good to go. So if I was to open up RDP on my machine and bring it over, and if we plug in that IP address, you'll see that we are hitting it now. And then we type in the username and password. We, you can see there goes the computer name that uh, we looked at just a few moments ago. And we are now RDP'd into it. So that's how you uh, set up the IP address. That's how you set up a static IP address. And that's how you enable remote connections to a virtual machine.